It's great right now to connect with San Diego State's new O-line coach and run game coordinator, Bill O'Boyle, who's been with Sean Lewis for the better part of the last handful of years, whether it's been at Kent State or Colorado or now at San Diego State. No, by the way, we're not yet in football season, but if you want basketball tickets for tomorrow night, be listening. We're going to give away Aztec basketball tickets coming up in about 15 minutes. But uh, Coach O'Boyle, Bill, we appreciate you hopping on. What's this been like for you? Uh, you, You're a longtime head coach of the Division II ranks from Kent State to Colorado, now to San Diego State. Welcome to the Mesa. And what have the last few weeks been like for you? We've been extremely busy, fellas. I really (laughs) appreciate you guys having me on. We kind of hit the ground running, obviously. I've been here, it'll be two weeks and Sunday. And all we've done is recruit and recruit and recruit. That's about basically what we've been doing. Yeah, I know we, we see it all a lot on social media, which uh, which I think fans are appreciating now. And, and coming here with Coach Lewis, what made the fit right for you to come here um, to to be on the coaching staff with, with with Coach Sean Lewis? Well, the biggest thing is just being with Coach Lewis. You know, I, I, I ended up going out with him uh, when we took the job at Kent State, and uh, just being with him through the Kent State years, five years there. And of course, a year at Colorado, and then uh, just being able to come with him here, and, and it's just a special deal being able to get back with some of the coaches from Kent State when we left uh, Kent to go to Colorado. I know that group kind of broke up, but we were able to bring. I think there's four of us now that were together there at Kent State and did things right. So that's special to be with those guys. Bill O'Boyle with us right now, San Diego State's new offensive line coach and run game coordinator right here on John and Jim, San Diego Sports 760. I mentioned, Coach, that you had a nearly two-decade run as a head coach before getting back into the FBS ranks. How did your time as a head coach at Division II make you a better position coach? You know, that was a special time, man. I look back and everybody asking, you know, what what were your best years and where would you like it best and things like that, but you know, those D2 years, were uh, they were special. We had great kids. We had great staffs. You know, we all got along. And, you know, the biggest difference is you do everything at D2. Mm. You know, uh, we painted the fields. We mowed. We did laundry. We did, you know, you, you don't have people to do that. You don't have the money for staff. So just the appreciation of of the whole thing, the whole program. And, and you know, I still uh, I don't miss a lot of that work. But, you know, I think it gives you a deep appreciation for uh, being able to create a program, work a program, and win, you know, and, and those are all special things to me. What's your impression, Ben, of San Diego so far and Snapdragon Stadium and just the, the football program as a whole going forward? Yeah, I think it's a diamond in the rough, you know, for us coming here and where we've been and the areas we've been. Uh, you're not going to find a better city, a better environment, weather. Uh, you know, I was blown away, you know, when we came in here. We were about, oh, it was probably a week before I even, we even got over to Snapdragon to see mm-hmm. the place, you know, and we've been at some pretty good venues, especially when we were at Kent uh, with some of the schools we played, but that stadium is unbelievable. You know, it, it's amazing what you have here, uh, the resources, and like I said, just e- even the recruiting in the area, we went out for about three or four days in just the area. And the amount of kids that want to come to San Diego State and play, and what we're finding out now is the kids that have gone away, which we're not going to let happen anymore, but the kids that have gone away, you know, all the guys want to come back, you know, so uh, this is a special place. Bill O'Boyle with us right now, San Diego State's new offensive line coach and run game coordinator. What are you looking for in linemen? I mean, you've, you've been coaching this position. Um, you've had a ton of success in doing it. What, what are the key traits you're looking for to uh, develop at San Diego State on the O-line? You know, when I went with Coach uh, Lewis out of Kent State, and I really didn't know him that well. Uh, I didn't know him at all, hardly. just met him a few times. But just being with him about the first two weeks, and being able to learn the offensive system that we run here and what we do. Uh, when you look for an offensive lineman, it's, it's not your typical, and everybody's going to say this, but as an offensive lineman, it's, it's the funnest offense you can run. You know, we're constantly pulling. We're out in space. We run about five or six different types of screens where we're downfield. Yeah, we're constantly moving, and especially with our tempo when you're snapping a ball every 12 to 15 seconds. So, you know, we're moving all the time. So it's it's a very exciting offense. 
you know, and most of our guys are going to go, how can anything be exciting as an offensive lineman? But, you know, with us and what we ask of those guys, you know, we're, we're not just waddling five yards and stopping. You know, we're, we're pulling all the time. Like I said, we're moving, you know, our passing games. It, it's extremely previously here that you know the recruiting in this area you want to keep the kids home in san diego just how important is it going forward that you guys make sure that you know you know what you say there becomes reality and that you do i guess i think sean lewis using this term build a fence around this area to make sure you don't let these recruits and these high school kids get out well it's um, you, you have to i mean it's a slap in the face when you turn around and see a kid that's within a half hour or 45 minutes or even an hour, leave this area and go to, you know, another school, especially at your level, you know, whether it be group of five or power five, you know, so we definitely have to keep those guys here and keep people happy. It brings in families. It brings in other friends, you know, the, just the area itself. I mean, the linemen I've seen in the last two weeks and just being on the road, it's amazing, you know, some of the kids that are out there, especially the young kids. And I know we're getting in a little bit late on this 24 class. You know, we have to make some adjustments because of the portal and what happened here. Uh, but, you know, the, just the young guys that are coming up, the 25s, the 26s, you know, there's some great kids out there that we have to keep here. They're athletic. They can run. They can do great things for us. You know, I'm glad you mentioned kind of the state of your offensive line because I'm curious just to get your impressions. I'm sure you have some of your younger linemen back, but we see on social media that former San Diego State starting offensive linemen have entered the transfer portal. A number of them have accepted other offers around the country already. So what does that mean for you? How do you attack what you need to prioritize for your offensive line in 2024? Well, the biggest thing is is replacing the four starters that left. And, and I know we have some good freshmen here. And, and it's hard for me to really be honest, to really even tell you, you know, because when I got in, the kids are in the finals week, you know, they're all moving in. So it, it was so hard to be able to get with those guys before they left, you know. So when they come back on the 16th, I believe it's our first team meeting, January's 16th, then I'll be able to assess a little bit more, be able to sit down with those guys and kind of see what we have. But we do have some huge holes, but. The best thing about it is the transfer guys we're getting. We've already had the three offensive linemen commit, uh, you know, and, and that's just a matter of, of being able to start when those guys get here and get them in, into the system. But, you know, we're, we're replacing some kids. Uh, our high school kids that, we, we've, uh, that we're on right now, that's going well. You know, so we're, we're going to be able to bring in the right guys. We still need about three or four more uh, that we're looking at. So that's what we've been doing the last few days since we hit a dead period today and uh you know we're just we got to get the right guys and i want good character guys uh, and guys that'll work extremely hard and like i mentioned before to play in this offense you have to be athletic and that's a big deal to us whose idea was uh was the cars the uh the ferraris the range <laughs> rovers the old school cars who whose idea was that and and where did you guys get these cars that to put on the field i mean this is something yeah. new here at san diego state that ruben, i don't think fans our, have seen ruben our dfo he he lined it they lined most of that up but i'm telling you that last official visit we had when they brought in those in and, and that the old school ones that anything i've ever been as far as a photo shoot goes, and I'm not a big photo shoot guy, <laughs> but I mean, those blew me away. I mean, that, those were absolutely beautiful. Uh, the people who brought them in, and I wish I could be able to tell you, you know, what group, but man, they, they, those were by far, I don't, you can put up any Ferrari, you can put up any whatever, but you know, and those were nice too, but I'm an old school guy, man, that, that was special. It's awesome. Bill O'Boyle, we're excited to have you here on the Mesa. We're excited for early signing day to begin on Wednesday and for a new era of Aztec football here beginning in 2024. Welcome to San Diego. We're excited to have you, and thanks for doing it today. All right. I appreciate you guys having me on.